Indeed, this is a historic night. 25 years of sizzling bacon action. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? No, 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 no. Patriots injuries and Patriots player yeah. news. Yeah. Oh, no. Hurst has been playing with a bulging <laughs> disc in his neck. You're the bulging disc guy. <laughs> I take that high regard. Barry, have you ever suffered a bulging disc? <laughs> Is that not what you're going to ask me? Oh. Here's my thought. Barry Melrose will leave you last. Yeah, I said, let's buy a team, Leaves, and you said, sure. And I said, Leaves, let's learn how to smoke a cigar. And you said, yeah. sure. So you're a great yeah. friend. It's 62 Steve Levy degrees here in Studio <laughs> X at World Headquarters. I think my colleagues like me most of the time, except when they have to follow me or perform me in the studio. It's colder in here sometimes. <laughs> you walk in, you go, oh, Levy's here, huh? Steve Levy's here, man. It's been really cool to... Uh, to, I hope, bask in the adulation and the true and honest respect of your peers. 25 years, if I say to pick a moment, I know there's yeah. not a moment. Yeah. But, but as you reflect, which you must do uh, when you think about all this time, what, what, what comes to mind about those 25 years? So uh, in terms of moments, uh, Stuart and I loved that post-Super Bowl show. That was always a highlight of our year. But we both agreed we would never do anything better or more important than the, the trip to Camp Arif, John, in, in Kuwait, mm -hmm. 2004. Troops are over there, and we got a chance to bring, you know, the Bob Hope moment, the slice of Americana. They were just looking for some kind of normalcy in, in their daily life, and we went over there. We just had a blast with those guys. I think that's the greatest uh, tribute you can be paid is when you talk to a serviceman or servicewoman that's abroad, and they say right. that we get to see that show, and it's, right. like, it's like something that, that gives them a thought of home. Yes. And that's what you brought to them. And the awkwardness, Scott, of going over there and them thanking us. Right? And we're like, no, no. Yeah. No, you got this wrong. It's right the on. other way. We're thanking you. So. Uh, they did show the sizzling bacon, and, and yeah. obviously you've been in a zillion spots over the years, and you and I got to do a fun one. Um, I was heavier, uh, but my <laughs> stylist hooked it up. I I don't know if we do it. This is like a talk show. Do we have the clip? Do we have the clip? Okay, so you and Cece and... Um, you're confident. You're so confident when you walk in the yeah, room. I felt good about <laughs> that it. Is, <laughs> Scotty, I put this in my top three all time. Yeah. And look, at and you do the hand motion like what? Yeah, <laughs> like what, you talking to me? Yeah. Like, uh, the, the, you know what's great? We did it. Me and Neil did one years ago where I was in the Captain America. I, you yep, were in yep, it. Yeah, yeah, But it yep. was the same thing with you and Cece because when Mello would turn around and see me in that, right. the same thing, when you guys would turn around, right. we, had to, we, we had a few takes. It, had to... it was my fault. <laughs> I busted. I must have busted it 20 times, and I'm really I'm trying to bite my lip uh -huh. and all that. And every, and every time you came in, it was perfect. Perfect. The, the interesting thing to me, the line that didn't make it, so CeCe's talking about how pinstripes are slimming. Sure. And he's, you know, he's battled some weight, as we all have. Yeah. Uh, and he said, hey, it'd be nice if the Yankees could wear these on the road. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. Pinstripes on the road right. for the that, Yankees. That, that, that didn't, that didn't make, make it either. No. Um, now, we do the bad beats on the show. Yeah. And you realize that in the pantheon of all-timers, you were on the call when we're pitching the ball all over the place in the, in the Bahamas, right? I'm the voice of the Bahamas Bowl. Right. As you know. Of course. Yes. And a new sponsor, by the way. <laughs> we did? Uh, yeah. No, I, well, I'll, I'll give you an update later. All right. Now, what happened here? I'll oh, tell you what happened. Uh, Lou Holtz and Mark May are in the car by now. That's what happened, <laughs> okay? I am, like, alone in the booth. Wasn't Western ahead by 1,000? Yes, and the game was over. That's why they were already packed up. And there's, as you see, no time on the clock. And if I recall correctly, so they get the score. They go for two. Go for two and don't get it. Yeah. So that was the amazing play. Yeah, well, um, yeah, because you, you know, at this point everyone's exhausted, and Central right, Michigan was plus right. whatever they were plus, and they covered. <laughs> and Sports Center calls and hey, we need a post game segment. Of course, I'm the only guy there. The they really was, left? Yeah, they no, they really left. <laughs> it, was, it was Christmas Eve or something. They had to make their flight. Yeah. And of course, you know, Sports Center doesn't want me. Right. They want those guys, and so we scrapped the post game segment. Yeah. You so the, that's nuts. Yeah. Uh, you and Levy would, ne I mean, you and uh, Melrose would never, would never punt early on, on, a, on a, uh, a Stanley Cup segment. And this year was cool because obviously for the first time ever. Uh, and it's fun because you know how much I love, genuinely love that. I say yes. it's the greatest tournament in yes. sports. So that was a fun thing just for you and me to share just because you're throwing it back to me. Like you're giving me this, hey, that's really cool. And right. I'm a bandwagon guy, but I got to see game four in D.C. And it was an incredible run. No, I and it, look, we root for moments, and we root for our guys, right? And so we're pals, too. It meant something to you. I root for Nagandi, for the Eagles. Yep. It's the same thing. We're all sort of teammates here as well. I knew how much it meant to you. When you say teammates, and I, I just real quickly, everyone can do the bulging disc thing. That's yeah. fine. I had a week where I said the F word on TV. I shouldn't have done that. And then we got the Howard Stern thing, and you were sitting next to me for yeah. both of it. And all you want in this business 
is you want a good teammate. You want somebody that's not trying to not trying to outdo anybody, somebody that can pick you up when something goes wrong. Uh, someone who you shine together, and there's no better teammate at this place than you. And, and if, for the folks at home that don't get what I'm saying, that's the greatest compliment that, that you can pay to a, a peer here is to be a great teammate. And you're as, as good a teammate as this place has ever known. And, and you know how much I mean that. I appreciate that, brother. Thanks. He's as good as there is, Steve Levy. Um, I'm going to do some CFL highlights real quick. Cool. All Love right. it. CFL. Have a good night.